Israel's first prime minister, David Ben-Gurion, famously said that if the country didn't conquer its arid Negev desert, it would be conquered by it. And in recent years, that desert has been blooming thanks in large part to high-tech centers in the city of Beersheba. And helping to lead that effort, a collective of entrepreneurs, they're called Tech7, they just held the Silicon Negev BGU Festival, showcasing some cutting-edge tech developments. Tech7 COO Daniel Einhorn is here with us. Daniel, great to have you here. Hi, thank you very much for having me. So we're talking about using tech to turn a desert into something else, something that Israel has already proven itself to be pretty strong in. Tell us, first of all, about why Beersheba? Why has this has become a sort of hub of technology? Well, I think, first of all, the Negev is just uh, currently booming because we really love the Negev. Entrepreneurs of the Negev, uh, they feel connected. It's a very community, family-like fe feeling. Um, it's uh, very fun and intimate to collaborate together, and I think it just uh, creates great things, and that's what uh, Tech7 Tech is all about. Well, talk us a little about Tech7 and this event that you just uh, made your sort right. of uh, tech festival that you just had in there. Okay, so, so this is basically a tech conference and startup competition. Uh, it's for negative entrepreneurs and also other startups which have a strong southern orientation. Uh, it's the second year we've been having this event. Uh, the winning prize is 5,000 shekels investment, so this is the second time, so we have a very big impact already. 500,000, I believe. Exactly, 500,000 yeah. shekels yeah. investment. Yeah. And uh, this is thanks to the Mata Foundation, who is the investor, and Ben Gurion University of the Negev, who is a full partner uh, for us on this project. And it's a great project. So we see the winners up there. Tell us a little bit about why they won, what they did. Okay, so uh, Green Eye Technology is not, first of all, it's, an, it's a Negev based startup. Some of its founders are actually um, Ben Gurion uh, graduates. Uh, what they do is they photograph using drones farming fields and then spotting with AI and machine learning uh, unwanted weeds not only geographically but the exact species this enables them to um, this gives the farmer the ability to give a precise pest control process and by thus saving a lot of the herbicides so this is not only a huge financial benefit this is also a major ecological solution for the entire world actually and much faster yeah so how much of the tech being developed there in Beersheba is like this is sort of applicable uh, not just for uh, general use but specifically for some of the challenges that are being uh, uh, proposed by that area the Negev uh, I'm not I think that's uh, as, as an as an international center we don't only apply to to Negev uh, solutions or Negev related solutions but agrotech is definitely one of the you know the Negev is uh, is known for pioneering in, uh, in agrotech especially, so I think that's why there's the relation. But well, What else caught your eye in the competition besides Green Eye? Uh, what other contendents? Well, we had uh, two other finalists. We had Synthesis, which, which is a, an IoT solution for uh, heating systems, and we had Stress, fact, Stress Factor, who was also a very strong uh, content, contestant. Uh, they developed stress a stress factor. Yeah, stress factor. Is that they just developed. about people who work in news, or is this a, a different kind of a different kind of technology? <laughs> yeah, they, they they developed also inside the Ben Gurion University. They developed a blood test yeah. to reveal chronic stress. Wow. So instead of having um, uh, the regular tests, which show which are very highly uh, affected by uh, stress that uh, was inflicted lately, this reveals chronic stress. They hope to standardize this test worldwide. The government uh, of Benjamin Netanyahu is making a major effort to make a bash a center of cyber defense right. especially. How much is that affecting the, these big army uh, research projects that are moving down there? Well, I think we'll see in the upcoming year because we have the IT and, uh, and uh, the A200 units uh, coming soon, but it will take some time. Uh, currently, um, we do have some major cyber innovations in the Negev, but uh, the collaboration with the military still needs a, a bit of a push, I think. Why is that? Well, because they need to relocate first. The only relocation that has already occurred is the, is the, the, the base camp in the south near Yerucham. So that's the only real thing that has happened, and we're waiting to the beginning of 2019 to really... Forget cybersecurity. I'm still thinking about the chronic stress uh, blood test. I think that will be, unfortunately, very useful to Look many, many people uh, in modern times. Probably not good news for most people that check that these days. No. Anybody who has a Twitter account probably is not going to do well on that. <laughs>